Hello everyone, thank you for watching Haunted Homes for Sale. Um, little update, I did rent a cabin in the woods. It's only run on a generator. It is so rustic. Um, July 6th is the date and I will do my best to do a paranormal investigation. Thanks for watching. Number five, this haunted Queen Anne Victorian in Nayak, New York can be yours for just $1,795,000. When the Igleys moved into their beautiful home, incidents started almost immediately. Mom, Helen Igley, claims that there were three ghosts in the home, a married couple and an, another older gentleman. Helen often saw an apparition of an older gentleman and her daughter's bed would often shake in the morning. Helen also reported hearing footsteps and door slamming. Items also would appear out of nowhere, such as coins and trinkets, and then only to disappear. This home was involved in a lawsuit after 20 years at the home. The Akeleys put it on the market and a man from New York City agreed to buy it, but once he learned the history, he backed out of the deal. The case was brought to court in New York State was forced to label the home legally haunted. Number four, this home built in 1912 is located in Dunsmuir, California and is listed for $899,000. Shortly after Brad Warner purchased the home in 2010, he was sitting on his computer in the living room with a fire roaring. Suddenly, all at once, the fire went out, his computer shut down and the French doors in the room began to open and slam shut. Being a computer technician, he didn't really believe in ghosts until he did. He was pretty shaken by this and simply spoke to them, stating that he owned the home now and please don't mess with him. He told them they could work together. Legend has it a mortician passed away in the kitchen. His wife was so distraught she locked herself in her bedroom, leaving the body untouched for weeks. Also worth mentioning, he ran his business out of the basement of the home. Number three, this 1867 home is located in New Orleans and can be yours for just $1,285,000. Legend has it this home was taken over by the Union Army and the attic was used as a jail. Two Confederate soldiers were held there and sentenced to death. Rather than be killed by the enemy, they killed each other, leaving blood leaking from the attic floor through the walls. The current owner sounds hilarious. He states, it's an old house. Of course you hear noises. He states, quite simply, we have never seen or heard ghosts. But leaving one to ask, but what are the strange noises? Number two, the Hartness House Inn in Springfield, Vermont is listed for only $750,000. What a steal. James Hartness built the inn when he was 27 years old for his wife and two young daughters. He was a machinist at the time and invented the flat Terrell lathe, which made him a fortune. During World War II, Hitler planned to bomb the Springfield area as he knew aviation technology was booming here. This inn includes an underground tunnel and an astronomy room. For several years, there have been sightings of apparitions in the tunnels, and there is a ghost named Charlie in the bedroom where Charles Lindbergh stayed. Number one, the Pillars Estate in Albion, New York was built in 1880 and can be yours for just $1 million if you don't mind a few ghosts here and there. A previous homeowner swore she saw a child's face appear in one of the basement windows. Soon after that, a construction worker swore he heard the fa a faint child's voice. And of course, you always have the woman in white and report of footsteps. Update, the price was cut in half. You have to wonder why. The current owner does indeed admit it is haunted and believes the ghosts are that of the previous owners. I'll see you guys next time.